Hi everyone, welcome to this Twinmotion 2020.2 tutorial. Today we are going to have a look at the new phasing tool introduced with this new version. So first off, let me uh, navigate inside this uh, Archicad model and I'm going to synchronize that with a new Twinmotion file. So I'll come to the Twinmotion tab, click on setting first. By default, uh, with our JLink plugin, we merge by materials. That means that all your slab, all your framing, all your, your structure, if they are sharing the same material, they will be collapsed in one single object. And it's not what I want today. Today, I want to use the phasing tool to show the construction step of this project. So what I'm going to do is switch the merge option to no merge. And that's the only thing I need to do in Archicad. Now I will click on the direct linked button. I'm going to start a new project. Take a few seconds to load all the data. I quite a lot of geometry in this project. Now that's done, let me just uh, lower the starting ground. And I also have created a context around this project. So let me come to my import doc, open. I will look for my context file and click on OK to import it. Here we go. So first thing I want to do is maybe uh, change the time of day so we have a nice sun impact on our project. So in Twinmotion 2020, we already had a phasing tool. You could find this phasing tool under the same graph over here. And uh, it was over there. With this new version of Twinmotion, we have replaced the old phasing tool with a new one, but we kept the old one. So all the phase that you created with the old phasing tool will remain. It's just that it has been renamed scene states. So if you have created some phase in the past, they will still be present over here. Now the new phasing, to access the new phasing, it's in the media doc. So I'll come to the media and here we introduce the new phasing tool. I will click on the big plus button to create a first phase. And here is the new UI for this phasing tool. This new phasing tool is more like a construction schedule where you can uh, create the different construction step of your project. You can visualize uh, the length of each of those steps. So for example, here by default, the starting time of your phasing is the day you are starting your project. So here I'm recording this video on July 7. And by default, my phase will, will last around 40 days. And you can visualize that you have different months and so forth and so on. Um, so yeah, first let's have a look a bit at this new UI. Here at the in the toolbar, we have the plus and minus that will allow to to have a bigger preview of the wall um, phasing that you have inside your project. Or you can also zoom in and see uh, the different days of uh, your construction steps. You can also use this drop down menu to switch to a view on a daily basis or monthly or yearly. Uh, next here we have the timeline. So here you can navigate with the timeline. The timeline will addition, basically, all the phase that you have below this white line. We'll see that also in a moment. And here you have a track. A track is basically uh, where you will create all the phase. You can also create multiple track. Uh, a track could be, for example, for um, a specific task, like uh, the, the crane that come um, and needs to be present for a specific set amount of time on your project. So you can have a track dedicated to the crane. You can have a track dedicated to the excavator. Uh, so you can visualize that the excavator will be present for a couple of months, for example. So without, without going into much detail, let's start uh, to create a couple of phase and we'll uh, explain a bit more. So I'll come with my send graph. Uh, what I will do is just right click on my add-in and collapse the hierarchy. So all my folders are collapsed and now I have a better view at all my different layers I have coming from Archicad. So I have the structural foundation, the steel frame, the slab, and this will be the, the one we are looking for today. So in my first phase, what I want to do is to have just the hole in the ground, just the start of the building process. So what I will do is select my phase, my phase number one, just click on it. I'm going to hide everything. 
my phase has automatically been updated with uh, this state hidden of all my objects. And now what I will do is just unhide a few pieces, like the site and landscape terrain and the site and landscape general, which is the road. So this is my first phase. It's automatically updated as you click on the eye icon. So now let's create a new phase. To create a new phase, you need to click on the plus button. Before that, uh, there is two different scenarios. Either you have already a phase selected. Here I have phase one selected. If I click on the plus button, this will create a new phase next to this one. So now in this new specific phase, what I can do, for example, is start to unhide the foundation. I can create a third phase. And in this phase, I will come to the slabs. And actually, I don't need all the slab. I just want the slabs on uh, the basement. So we just hide all the slabs that I don't need and leave this one on. So here I created a tree face. Now uh, let's pretend that I want to create um, a new phase that will contain the start of the, the metallic structure. This is uh, just so you can see, this is the metallic structure of my building. I want to create a new phase with the, the, the first floor of this metallic structure. I can use the same process. I can click on my phase and click on the new phase button that will create a new phase after that. But what I would like to do is create a new track dedicated to the metallic structure. To create a new track, there is two different ways. Either you can click on the three dot button over here and click on new track that will create a new empty track like here. Or what you can do, while you are inside uh, your phasing. If you select the timeline, as you can see here, and click on the plus button, it can't create a phase on the first track, on the track number one, because there is already a phase present at this time, at October 4th. So it will automatically create a new track with the new phase. So let's check it out. I click on this plus button, and as you can see, it has automatically created a new track with a new phase. Let's rename this track um, Metal uh, Steel Frame. So in this track, I just want to focus on the metallic structure of my project. So let me just put this track at um, the end of the other phase. As you can see, there is a snapping tool. Um, there is a snapping helper that allows you to, to snap the different phase together. You can also rescale them. So for example, uh, by default, a phase is 40 days, but you can also uh, change the, the, the length of a phase just by uh, dragging the end or the start of, of the, the phase itself. So in this specific phase, what I want to do is start to visualize my steel frame. And I will start with my ground floor like that. So now I have my hole, the foundation, the start of my slabs, my steel frame. Now I want to come back to my first track. And on this track, I want to unhide the slabs of my first floor. So here I selected my track number one. And since they, there is no uh, visible phase on this track, when I will be clicking on the pick plus button, this will create a new phase exactly at this time, November 30. And now, on this phase, I will just unhide my slab of my first row. So let me do that a couple of times. Again, I will select um, my steel frame. I'm uh, sorry, I will select my phase number uh, five, click on a plus button to create a new phase. On this one, I'm just going to uh, visualize the second floor. Next thing, just going here, click on the plus button to create a new phase and again, uh, unhide my slab. So here I've created a couple of, of frames that could present the, the construction step of uh, the start of my project. Now let's pretend that um, for, um, for my construction, at some point I need a crane. My crane needs to be present to place uh, like all the metallic part, all my steel frame structure. So my crane needs to be present uh, just before phase number four. So what I will do here is um, I will come over here while my timeline is selected. I will click on the plus button. This will create a new phase. I'm just going to move this phase in a new track. So let me come over here, create a new track. 
I just select this track and move it below my steel frame track. I'm going to move this, um, this phase into this new track. And what I will do is rename this track uh, Crane. So on this specific track, what I want is to uh, have visible only a crane. So let's first add this crane to the project. I'll come to the vehicles, uh, misc, crane. Just going to move that like 90 degree. So here in my phase eight, right now we have the crane, but we have also all other objects inside my project. So what I will do is hide everything and just make visible the crane. And now I can see that um, in phase eight, I just have my crane. And if I mouse over my project using the, the timeline, you can see that when I come over after number, November three, uh, my steel frame start to appear alongside my, uh, my crane. Uh, next thing I want to do is, uh, I know that this crane will be present during multiple uh, phase of my project. So I will just extend the, the crane over multiple phase like that. So now I know when I will be looking at my construction step, my construction phase, I will know that my crane will be present for uh, the start of November until uh, the end of April. So you can use the, the phasing tool like that. Um, so now I've created phasing. Um, the phasing can be used like here to show the construction steps of a project. But if you click on the more, uh, here you have two options. The first one is to select the start date of your construction uh, project, but you can also disable the mark, disable the date. This will basically allow you to use the phasing tool in another way to show, for example, a variation of a project. So you can show different design option of your project. Not something related to, to the time where you show the, the step of a construction. It's really, you want to present multiple variation of your project. So you can have one phase for each design of your project and you can use the phasing tool to present the different design. So next up is how to add this uh, phasing to uh, a video. So we'll come to the media doc. Uh, let me first kit the media mode. So I retrieve my full project. What I will do is come to my video. I will click on the plus to create a keyframe and just create a small animation with just two keyframes. And now, uh, not that I, now that I have that, how to uh, add this phase to this project. In the past, it was directly in the keyframe. You needed to apply one phase to each of the keyframe, which was quite uh, tedious and time consuming. Now you can add a phasing to wall video. So you need to come back in the breadcrumb, enter the more option. And here you can attribute this phasing to this specific video. So now if I come over here into my video, as you can see here, I have my uh, phasing present inside my video. And I think that's it for today. Hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful and see you for the next one. Bye everyone.